These $50 handmade mugs are, nah, they're not handmade or worth $50. If you're in certain communities, you've probably seen this mug. This mug is popularly marketed as handmade. It was really very popular during the Game of Thrones time. It has that rustic old medieval feel. But the downside is not the mug itself or even the upsellers that sold this at a higher price than they bought it for. The downside is that many people have marketed this product as handmade. So now we're going to go start from the end. Instead of selling from the websites and working our way back to AliExpress, we already know that these products are there. So let's go on AliExpress and then kind of reverse search and find the stores that are selling this so that if you belong to any of these communities, you know which stores are telling you this is handmade and which ones are being straight up with you. So we'll come over to AliExpress. We'll search wooden mugs. And once we search wooden mugs, we see a few others. Now, all of these are nice. I had some time I would have bought a few of these and done reviews on them because they all look pretty good, especially this Japanese style vintage ceramic as well. Now we scroll down, we see a few others. This one too was popular at some point. We can do a reverse search about this later, but this one is the one we are looking for. So let's scroll and see if there are any more. This one I gather was also once very popular too. So let's open that one as well. And um, this looks good too. All right, so let's come over to the wooden style. We'll right click on this little one here and open that in a new image. Let's come over to AliExpress. Now the way to get a bigger image from here is to really remove this WebP 50 by 50 up here. So I'm, I'm just taking that out and leaving the JPEG. Good, there we have a bigger image now. So let's reverse Google search this. There are a few results. Now Etsy is supposed to be, that's this first result here, is supposed to be the marketplace for artisans, people who are creating new products. It started out being handmade, but it's become very flexible on the definition of what handmade is. So you may see a few things here. Now, I don't think you're allowed to sell things that are um, mass produced still, but I'm not sure about that. But it says, um, check out our Pirate Beer Monk selection for the very best in unique or custom handmade pieces from our drink and barware shop. So let's open this one. This one also makes a handmade claim. And here we see that um, Google calls them tavern mugs. So let's scroll down here and see some other results that we have. Here we see a couple of stores, so let's open them. Let's open this one, Dice and Dragons. And then there's another one called Aubrey and Claudia. Let's open that one too. And then we see some AliExpress. We already know what it's worth there. A weekly deal. I don't know how popular that one is. Viking Pride. Let's open that. 3D Viking beer mug. At least this one doesn't say handmade. So give them the benefit of the doubt. The Mad Muffin. Let's open that. Warren Collision. Let's open that. So let's take a look at some of these stores. Now, Dwarf and Dragons, I've heard about this one a long time ago. I can see down here that they made a sale 43 minutes ago. I've heard about these guys a while ago, so these are pretty popular. And they sell theirs for 50 bucks with a free set of metal dice. Let's scroll down here. The more you buy, the cheaper, the higher your discount. And so everything here seems fine so far. You know, they're just upselling the product. We see that the product here it costs them, well, depending on how much of these and from where it's shipping, from one cent to ten dollars. So it's a pretty good markup, at the very least five times the price. So, but here we see that they say that these are created by custom artists overseas. They're in high demand and will take two to four weeks to arrive. If you've watched my shipping video from last week, you know that these take so long to arrive because they ship directly from China. It's through a process called drop shipping. Once you order from the store, in this case, Dyson Dragons, they then go over to AliExpress. They order, put in your shipping address and then have it shipped to you. They pay AliExpress $10 at the top for it. And so they make $40 in between. Now, of course, there's marketing costs. So you take off another 10 to 15 bucks. So maybe they make about $20 at the end or $25, which is good. So, but you see here that they say they are created by custom artists overseas. 
they're in high demand, which is likely true because these are very popular and will take two to four weeks to arrive. Everyone agrees they are worth the wait. They usually do this to explain away why it takes so long to arrive. If they tell you we're shipping this from AliExpress or from China, it's so wait two to four weeks, nobody will wait. But if they tell you that it's custom made, it's handmade, you're more likely to wait for the product to arrive, right? And that's why you do this. So down here, you see a bunch of reviews and you see some, um, some mugs. Now, two things. The first is from the from the plugin used here. So this is likely an, a Shopify store. From the plugin used here, these look like AliExpress reviews. But at the same time, I know that this store is pretty popular, so it's possible that these reviews come directly from them. But I'm more skeptical about that now that I've seen this 12 reviews up here, because as popular as they are, they should have more than 12 reviews. So these are likely AliExpress reviews as well, taken through the Shopify app from AliExpress and put on their store. So that's Dice and Dragons, custom made by artisans. It's mass produced in China by manufacturers. And then here we have another one called Aubrey and Claudia. Let's scroll down here. They are more modest. They sell this for $30. And here you see, um, they say beautifully handcrafted. Again, we know it's not handcrafted, it's mass produced. Um, but theirs is $30. I th that's a lot more modest than the $50 from the other store. So let's come over to this one. And this one is just a weekly deal. I saw someone in Nairobi just bought one. So this is likely an international store. They don't have any reviews. Vikings Pride has this for $26. That's not bad. Now this is good. These guys are a good example of more transparent marketing. They write here that this mug is made to mimic a wooden barrel, which is good, right? Cause it's not handcrafted as it looks here. It's just made to mimic it, to sell that idea, that feel, and they have adequately described it. So this is good. This store is good. Um, it gets a thumbs up. All right. You can also see that they also have this one as well. And this one they sell for $28.98. This guys have it for $30. Okay. Finally crafted, not handcrafted. That, that, that one's better as well. Buy several so that no man or woman goes thirsty. This is good too. Sells the dream but doesn't oversell the price. So that's good. And these guys just go for broke. They're like eight bucks, man, nine bucks. So this, these are the clearest, most honest ones um, out of all of them, but they won't make much of a profit. I wonder where their, their marketing costs get covered because this price is too damn low. Thank you guys for watching. Please share these videos if you're a member of one of those communities or if you know anybody else that may need to see this. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Praying for your seed planted and I agreed. May all be healed and freed of all the wrongs, of all the bleed. And in the songs, we sing of need to break the chains, both physical and mental games. Ridicule and supernatural pain, psychic and path.